Hello, YouTube. Here's the again. Uh, sorry, I've been away for a few days. I'm still sick. I'm just having trouble with making a video. Uh, today, I feel a little better. So, uh, I went to my girlfriend. went to Hershey Park with my girlfriend. Uh, she lives, she, no, she works at Hershey Park. Uh, so she gets in free and she gets a free ticket every other, or two free tickets every other week. So, yeah, works out pretty well. Uh, but I, I hung out with my friends this weekend and I found something that's actually really, really kind of cool. Uh, you know, I don't always have time to pack a pipe and deal with all the hassle involved in it, but honestly, to me, it's part of the relaxation. Sometimes I'm out and about and I want to enjoy something tasty to smoke. Um, I found these, uh, you probably butcher ones, but, uh, Jarum, uh, Blacks, uh, they're filtered clove cigars, uh, little packs like that, and I've heard a lot about clove cigars, apparently the smoke is pretty harsh in the throat, it's not a great idea to inhale it, uh, from the website I found, uh, it had a quote saying that, uh, many good singers destroyed their career from a week of smoking clove cigar, uh, clove cigarettes. So, yeah, like I said, harsh. Uh, they kind of have this spicy but sweet smell to them. Like, it almost kind of reminds me of black licorice, but sweeter. Like, it doesn't have the bitter, anisey flavor. Um, they taste pretty similar, also. Uh, they always seem to leave a hint of, uh, like, a sweetness on their lips. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the filter, but it's just the flavor, so. I believe it's a filter, but still very, very good. Um, and like I said, great for out when you're on the belt. I'll forget to do a review on it today. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but it crackles a lot when you light it and while you smoke it, uh, but my friends are recommended to me said it smokes really slow, like, a, like one will take you like six minutes if you smoke it a little fast. Um, I've smoked most of my, most of the pack of 12 already, and I'm going to try a couple different uh, flavors and brands, but a quote, cigar is definitely mine to go to, pulling them out and about, and that's something tasty. Yeah, just leaves kind of spiciness on my tongue, sweetness on my lips, and it, it's very flavorful. Honestly, it's definitely something I enjoy. Um, I'm gonna try to find one with a little less filter on, so you get a little more flavor. But then again, the clove—I don't know if that's such a great idea. Uh, I know the Jarm Company definitely uh, makes uh, several other uh, types of cloves. So there are some with a little bit less cloves or more. Uh, some of some added flavors like cherry and stuff. I figured I'll just go and try them all. They're not too expensive. It's like six bucks for a pack of these, which lasts me a couple days. Um, and if I can find a cheaper brand, you know, I will. But these are definitely something good. Uh, and that was a couple days out of hanging out with my friends who were all cigarette smokers. And so whenever I'm around them, I tend to smoke a little bit more. So. Yeah, and like, uh, like I said, I don't inhale, just kind of a preference, like, I smoke a pipe and everything, I just don't want that nicotine addiction, it, it's just not something I'm in, into, I don't like the feeling of being controlled by something, especially something like a, you know, a substance. Uh, the ash seems to hang on really well, I smoked it down here with quick tapping off, and you know, it feels like it'll hold on for most of it. Scar if you didn't uh, shake it around a lot. You keep shuffling the same flavor the whole way through. Uh, it does get a little bit hot to exam like anything would. And the spiciness goes away fairly quickly, but that sweetness just lingers on your lips for uh, pretty much up until the next puff, which is nice. Um, 
It also kind of has a cooling effect on the tongue. Uh, I really like it. They're, they're great. It also seems to me that the nicotine head on these are pretty strong. I mean, this tiny little stick here, I've gotten a pretty heavy nicotine buzz off of them. When they're piped back, those that are supposed to be somewhat strong, that, you know, after a whole bowl full, maybe a bowl and a half, you know, I'm not feeling hardly anything. So. Um, definitely a, a nice thing to smoke. Just, you know, like I said, be wary because the nicotine does hit kind of hard with this one. So I guess that's it. Um, definitely a recommended buy. Buy if you like something kind of spicy uh, and sweet. So if you're you're a fruit lover, you'll probably enjoy these. Uh, I know the look of the cigarette kind of turns some people off, and they're gonna like it. Might be a cheaper tobacco, but it does taste good. Um, and then yeah, that's all I really care about. Um. Yeah, some people are going to look at you different because it's a cigarette, and I know there's a stigma about it, but I really don't care. Like I said, it tastes good, and then I don't care what someone else thinks about it. I'm going to continue to do what I enjoy as long as it's not hurting anybody, no one else has a reason to so worry about it. But yeah, um, Jar and Black Rogue Cigars, I uh, strongly urge any, any smokers who like a strong flavor can smoke, try out a couple different club cigars or like cig uh, cigars or cigarettes with added flair flavorings to them and uh, real quick this is a cigar technically it does have a tobacco wrapper instead of paper so yeah i'll make another video soon thanks for watching have a good day